This video is on quadratic applications. We're going to be doing area quadratic word problems. So these problems involve finding the area, finding the dimensions of area problems. The first question says the length of a rectangle is 6 inches more than its width. The area of the rectangle is 91 inches squared. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So the first thing we need to determine is what a rectangle is. So a rectangle we know is four sides and it has right angles. So to find the area of a rectangle, it would be length times width. We have the length and we have the width. We don't know the actual values, but we do know what the area is. So let's write out some information. It says the length is six inches more than the width. So the length would equal to the width plus six, because it's the width plus six more inches whereas the width would just be w. The width is width. It doesn't add anything, it doesn't subtract anything. So we know that the length and the width have dimensions. Well, we know that the area of a rectangle should be length times width. We are told that the area is 91 inches squared. So we can say that the area is just 91. We leave the units for the end. Well, we can write out that the length is w plus 6, and then the w is w. Well, both of these have a w in the problem. So if we can keep it to where we have just one letter, that will help us. Because right now we have three. If we know what the area is, we have a number here, so now we have just two letters. We know that the length is w plus 6, and width is just w, so we can actually just use the same letter. So we can have it as equals, our length is w plus 6, and our width is just w. So now we have w plus 6 times w is actually equal to 91. So we can, now we have a, a quadratic, where we have a linear factor times a linear factor, we can actually solve this out. Let's rewrite this as 91 equals, so w times w plus 6 would be w squared, plus 6w. Now we have a quadratic. And if we set our quadratic equal to 0, we could try to factor this. So let's set this equal to 0. Let's turn this into w squared plus 6w. Let's take this 91 and subtract it to the other side. And now let's set this equal to 0. Let's try and factor this. Our greatest common factor would be a positive 1, and they don't all have w, so it's just positive 1. So we're going to have parentheses equals to 0. We're going to have w times w gives us w squared. So what multiplies to 91? 7 times 13 gives us 91, so I'll put 7 times 13. And to get a positive 6, I'll do 13 minus 7, so a positive 13 minus 7. And let's see, that'll give us a positive 6. And then a negative 7 times a positive 13 gives us a negative 91. So these are the factors. Therefore, I can do the zero product property and say that w, w minus 7 equals 0. So w is equal to 7. And then I can also have w plus 13 equals 0. So w equals negative 13. Now, we should know, using common sense, that our width can't be negative. So the one width that we are able to have is 7. So our width would equal to 7, and our units is our inches, because it wasn't inches squared, so it will be 7 inches. If our width is 7 inches, then our length would be 7 plus 6 would give us 13 inches. So if we, make sh we can make sure of that. So 7 plus 6 gives us 13. And 7 times 13 does, in fact, give us 91. So we have the width is 7 inches and the length is 13 inches. You can also write this, since we're dealing with dimensions, we would have 7 by 13 inches. That's another way you can write that. So 7 inches by 13 inches. 
So our width is 7 inches and our length is 13. It is important to know that your length is longer than your width. So we have width by length. On this next problem, it says the length of a rectangle is one foot more than twice the width. The area is 55 square feet. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So again, let's write out some information that we know. So it says the length of a rectangle is, so the length is one foot more than twice the width. So twice the width means two times the width, so 2w but it's one foot more than that, so we're going to add one more foot. But it doesn't say anything else about the width, so we know that the w is just equal to the width. We again know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, and we know that the area is 55 square feet, so that means that our area is 55 equals. Well, again, our length and width both have a w in it if we use these parts. So our length could be 2w plus 1, and our width would just be w. So we can have this as, let's multiply this out, distribute it out. 55 equals w times both of these would be 2w squared plus w. Since this is a quadratic and we want to try and factor it, we're going to set this equal to 0. So let's move the 55 to the other side. So we'll have a positive 2w squared plus w, and then we'll have minus 55 equals to 0. Now we're going to factor this. To factor this, we're going to have our two sets of parentheses. Our GCF is 1 equals to 0. So we're going to have 1w and 2w. So then what multiplies to 55? 1 and 55. 5 times 11, let's go with 5 times 11. So we're going to put a 5 here and then 11 here, so let's guess. So we're going to check it. This will give us 10, this will give us 11. So 10 and 11, 10 and 11, I can subtract the 10 and I'll keep it as a 1. So to make this, it has to give us the negative, so I'll make my 5 negative, and these have to stay positive, so I'll make that a positive. So let's check this. 11 minus 10 gives us 1, and negative 5 times a positive 11 gives us a negative 55. So that does work. So we just factor that. So now we're going to use the zero product property. We're going to solve for this. We'll have w minus 5 equals 0, so w equals positive 5. And then we'll have 2w plus 11 equals 0, so we're going to subtract the 11 and then we'll have to divide by 2, so we'll subtract the 11 and then divide by 2. So we'll have 5 and negative 11 over 2. Again, we cannot have a negative width. Can't be negative. That means that our width would be equal to 5 feet. And therefore our length would equal to what? So it's 2 times 5 which is 10 plus 1 is 11, so our length would be 11 feet. We can again have 5 by 11 feet. We have to use the information of area to help us. The point of doing the quadratics is to only have one type of letter in the problem. That's why when we wrote these out, length and width, we figured out that length was twice the width plus one foot. So now we have just the same letter in here. That helps us be able to plug it in so that we can multiply it out to get one variable for the problem.